Hello there, Grumpy Old Fart here. I'm doing a movie review of the movie Spider-Man No Way Home. Uh, this movie is in the theaters as we speak, and oh my god, it's doing good. Uh, I'm going to try to do this with no spoilers, but if some slip through, just you know, be warned, and I apologize if they do. I'm going to try to do it without it, but you know, sometimes the mouth a little bit bigger. Um, so... We, we went and saw this in the theater the other day. Uh, we hadn't been able to go to a movie in a long time because of this pandemic bullshit. So, here we go. This movie is freaking awesome! Every aspect, every, every aspect of this movie make, of, 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 of movie making and, and, you know, everything about this production is outstanding. Um... This has the level of special effects and action that you expect from a Marvel movie. This has the acting you expect from a serious drama. It has the... And, and, and I'm not saying it's all dramatic and, you know, heavy-toned. But it's got enough drama to where it'll interest just about everybody. On top of that, it's a fucking Spider-Man movie. Oh, pardon me. And it's great. <laughs> we got good programming again. Okay. Um. Every aspect of this is good. The writing, the plot, the story, the story arcs, the casting, special effects. I, I took some notes. <laughs> uh, special effects. Everything about this movie is really, really great. What few plot holes that there are are so small and inconsequential that it, it, they, they literally don't matter. Okay. Um, the woke agenda did not take this movie. It was awesome. Everyone acted normally. Everyone was equal. Reality prevailed. Given the nature of this film, magic with extra dimensional stuff, if, you, if you've not seen a trailer or anything like that, you're missing out. But, you know, reality did prevail. And given the nature of the movie, that's saying something. <sighs> men were men, women were women, and everyone was a human being. There was no racism, period, and it was awesome. When I do movie reviews, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it at that because there's not a lot I can do without giving you a shitload of spoilers. And I'm just using all kinds of foul language. I'm sorry. The movie was great. Okay, <laughs> it really was. Um, I get excited about a good movie, and that's one of them. Uh, and I do these movie reviews to try, hopefully try to give you stuff to watch. And if you if you go through and watch all the movies. That I, that I recommend here, you're going to be watching a hell of a lot of good movies. Okay. Standouts. And I have to say this, and I owe this young lady an apology. I was initially unimpressed with Zendaya, Zendaya, however you pronounce her name, as uh, Mary Jane Parker. Uh, in the comic book, she was a redheaded, kind of a, kind of a party girl actress. Zendaya plays her as far from that as possible. I was afraid that it would change the dynamic of the relationship between her and Peter Parker. And I was, oh my God, wrong. I loved the way she did it. The way she portrays Mary Jane in this is brilliant. She is a very talented and, and beautiful actress. And she is awesome in that role. Other, there are other people who give you movie reviews and they're not uh, one guy. And I'm not gonna. I don't know who it is. I can't remember who. Somebody was calling her not Mary Jane. No, she's Mary Jane. She's just a different Mary Jane, and she plays it well. I enjoy her in the role. Zendaya is a is a quickly in my house be quickly becoming a a favorite here. <laughs> um, and a side note, I wanna I gotta bring this up. <clears throat> Where we live, there was there were no active theaters for a long time because of this pandemic shit and if you're if you're if you've been paying attention to if you unless you've been living under a rock you know what i'm talking about we did the math it was going to take a four hour run an overnight stay for us to go see a movie and then some wonderful people with what's called tri uh tri peaks theater in trinidad reopened the theater there it's in Trinidad, Colorado. We have an actual theater we can go see movies at, and it didn't. It, it's not a, an entire day and overnight trip with you know staying in a hotel and what all. So yeah, 
God bless those people with Tri State or excuse me, Tri Peaks rather, Tri Peaks in Trinidad. God bless them. Uh, now, review of their theater. They were happy to have us. We were standing in line. It was a, in a oh my God, it was a long line. And the lady behind the counter said, who all's here to see Spider-Man? And we all raised, everybody raised our hand. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to pause the movie so nobody will miss anything. That was damn nice. You don't see that in a lot of theaters these days. And the best part, no masks required. So, if you get a chance, head down to Tri-Peaks in Trinidad or wherever your local theater might be. And check out Spider-Man No Way Home. I promise you. You're going to enjoy this movie. This is time well spent, money well spent, time with your family well spent. You folks have a good day. God bless one and all.